Are you looking for an easy and free way to record multiple audio tracks at the same time inside a video? That way you can go ahead and throw them back in per se a video editing program and retain control to be able to edit the volume of your personal audio from your microphone, your PC's audio from say YouTube videos or video games that you're recording, and then also your friend's audio from something like Discord, Skype, TeamSpeak, Mumble, any of those other programs? If so, stay tuned because we're gonna be talking about OBS multi-track audio recording, which gives you complete control over this and lets you just drag in one clip into your video editing program and retain control over all of the different audio segments. Let's jump into it. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about multi-track audio recording inside of OBS, otherwise known as Open Broadcaster Software. And also just wanna go ahead and say that this can be done inside of Streamlabs and Stream Elements as well. The instructions are pretty much identical. So without further ado, let's jump into the computer side of stuff and how to configure to record multiple audio tracks inside of OBS. All right, guys, so before we go ahead and get started in showing you guys how to use multi-track audio recording, I want to fundamentally show you what it looks like inside of a video editing program. And this is going to be pretty much the same as far as the audio channels that you're able to see and whether or not you're able to see multi-track or not inside of, you know, Adobe Premiere, Vegas Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or any of the other many video editing platforms that are out there. So this one right here is the first one, and this is just single track audio recording. You can see that we have one track, which is on track one. And then we have what's after that is dual track, which is track one and two. And then we've got a triple track audio recording, which is track one, two, and three, which is really useful. So now I'm gonna go ahead and explain a use case of, you know, where you have pros and cons of some of these and why you might wanna use two track, maybe you just want to use single track or why you might even want to use triple track audio recording. And then I'm going to go ahead and give you guys uh, timestamps that you guys can jump to as well. So you can jump to triple track audio recording if you don't want to see how to do double track because you want triple track. That way I'm not making you guys wait around and watch something that you're not interested in. So we're going to use a very basic example here so I can kind of explain this for some of you that might not be tracking along. Audio can be confusing. My goal is to make it not as confusing and, you know, make you a master of your audio for your videos. So let's get started with a very, I guess, rudimentary example, because I know a lot of you people that are going to be watching are probably playing video games or something like that, or you're wanting to have your friend's audio recorded. So let's talk about that. So the example I'm going to use is say you're playing a video game and you're also talking into your microphone and you're hanging out with a friend. Well, the problem is, is whenever you go to record it, if your friend's audio is not loud enough or it's too quiet or your audio is not loud enough or is too quiet, or if the gameplay is too loud or too quiet, the problem you run into is you cannot adjust any of the audio here. Big problem, especially if you're recording a gameplay video or something for a series or anything like that, you could essentially ruin a good audio or a good video clip. So big problem there. The solution that I could see to some of these is two track audio and two track fixes part of the problem, but not all of it. So two track is going to give you the option to separate your microphone from your PC's audio or your gameplay audio. But the problem is now your friend's audio coming through discord, Skype, TeamSpeak, or any of those other various communication platforms is still mixed with your gameplay. So if your gameplay or your friend's audio is too loud or too quiet, you can't adjust one without adjusting the other. So let's say for example, your gameplay sounds fine, but you can't hear your friend over the gameplay because your friend's mic's too low. By the time you crank it up to where you can start hearing your friend, your gameplay is gonna be extremely loud now. So this is a problem. So the solution to this is what I call, you know, triple track audio recording or multi-track audio recording. And this is great because it's built into OBS and there is a little workaround that we have to do to accomplish this. This is why I'm keeping this a little bit separate from the dual track audio recording. And I want to explain why this is beneficial. So this first track can be my microphone. Second track could be my friend's audio and discord. And then the third track could be the PC audio. This is going to be extremely useful if you ever need a use case of where you have to go back and you have to do some post processing or just post production on any of your video clips. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put two timestamps, one in the bottom for 
dual track audio recording and one for triple track audio recording. And I'm gonna explain how you actually get this working and what all is needed to get started with it. So let's go ahead and jump to dual track audio recording and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so we're gonna start with dual track audio recording. This one is honestly not too difficult, but let's go ahead and cover it. So the first thing we want to do is go over to our settings and we are gonna go to audio. The first thing we want to make sure is that our desktop audio is set to whatever we're normally hearing. Let's say if we went and watched a YouTube video where we would hear the YouTube audio. So for me, that's going to be my speakers. So I'll select my speakers and then we want to add a microphone. So this is going to be my microphone. So I'm going to find my microphone out of the list, make sure it's selected and then click apply and okay. We can see that my microphone is obviously moving up and down here. That is a good, you know, designation that this is picking up my audio. And one thing I want to suggest to you guys time and time again, this is something I suggest to people all the time, make sure your audio levels are actually showing up here. That way you're not giving yourself a headache whenever you go back and try to figure out why is my audio not working? So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up youtube.com forward slash C forward slash, actually we're gonna pull up the how to tech YouTube channel, how to tech dot us. So this is our new website. If you guys wanna check it out, by all means, go do that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down a little bit so we can actually see the audio meter right here. As we can see when I'm talking, it's moving up and down. Let's see if it does the same thing whenever I click a video on desktop audio. And it is moving and we can see it's super loud. So if we were to record right now, this is a perfect example of why you'd wanna record a multi-track audio. That way we can adjust this because you would actually never hear me if that was the case because this video is so loud. So. We know both of them are now working. How do we separate the audio? It's actually not as difficult as you would think. So let me go ahead and show you on the output settings where you would find some information about this. So you would go to output and we can see that we have options here, but underneath these options under the simple mode, we're not actually gonna get all the settings that we need. So we need to change this to advanced and advanced is going to give us a little bit more control under the recording. So your bit rate and all of that stuff that you plan on using is not something we're going to be covering in this video. If you were interested in what you need to set it to to record, I've got other videos, check those out in the card up above. But today I'm going to be giving you the exact settings that you would need to do multi-track audio recording. So the first thing you need to do is change your recording format to an MP4. MP4 allows multi-track audio. What we're gonna do now is select how many tracks that we wanna record. Now, this isn't just a designation of how many you wanna record. So if I uncheck this and I select track six, that does not mean we're recording six tracks of audio. It's just that we are recording the sixth track itself. And I'll show you where to select what goes to which track in just a second. So since we're doing dual track, we'll go ahead and select the first and the second track, and then we'll click apply. What this is gonna tell the uh, OBS is whenever we click the record button, we want two separate audio tracks to be tied to that MP4 file. So if we need to edit it or anything like that, we have that option. So let's go ahead and click okay. And now we need to assign my microphone right down here and the desktop audio to an audio track. And we wanna assign those to separate audio tracks. So to do that, we need to click on the settings gear on any either one of these and click advanced audio properties. This is gonna bring up this menu and it's gonna allow us to adjust the volume and balance and set off syncs and stuff like that and that's cool. But the main thing we need to look at is the tracks. So by default, I normally set my PC's audio to track one and we can see that these are actually set to tracks one, two, three, four, five, and six on all of them. This is gonna cause a problem. So essentially, if we did this and we recorded right now, we are outputting the desktop audio and the microphone on both track one and two, which are being recorded, which means we're not fixing the problem. We're just having the audio mixed on both of them. So what I like to do is put my desktop audio on track one. So what I do is make sure nothing else is checked on track one. So this now means that only my desktop audio is gonna be recorded on track one. And honestly, for best practices, I like to uncheck all the other audio tracks that I'm not using for that device. And then my microphone, I like to put on track two. So we'll leave two checked and we'll uncheck the rest. So just to recap this, what we're telling in the settings 
is that we want to tie track one and two to the MP4 that we are recording. And then inside of here, we are in the advanced audio properties, we are designating which devices are going to record or stream to whatever track. So we want to record the desktop audio to track one and then the microphone to track two. And if we go ahead and press record, it's going to output that file just like that. And per the example in Adobe Premiere, you will have two separate audio tracks, one for your PC audio, anything that comes out of your PC, and then one separately just for your microphone. So now let's go ahead and look at triple track audio recording. So say you want to do multi-track audio recording and you want three separate tracks, one for your microphone, one for your computer's audio, and one for your friend's audio in Discord. And I can tell you, this is definitely something that is able to be done. Let me show you what programs you're going to need to get that accomplished. So it's actually technically you only need one, but to make it free for this workaround, we're going to use two. And I'm going to tell you about that just very briefly. This is what's called donationware, which means most of it's free. And if you want more advanced features, you pay for them. So this right here is what we're going to be using for one virtual input. It is a virtual audio cable and we're going to use this. And then we're also going to use voice meter because it comes with another virtual audio cable kind of built into it. Um, if you guys really like this, consider supporting the creator and paying for just virtual audio cable A plus B. This is going to allow you to do this as well. And it's going to allow you to uninstall voice meter if you don't need it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll download VB cable and you'll just go ahead and download it. And then you'll go over to voice meter and you'll want to download it. There is a zip package and then there's an exe. An exe is just gonna mean that it's already in the format to run the installer and you're not gonna have to unpack a bunch of files. Virtual or VB cable doesn't come with an installer. It's just a bunch of files, but I'll show you guys how to install that too. So you just download this too. And you can see that I've already got that there actually because it's a copy of it. So we're gonna delete both of the copies I just downloaded. I'm gonna show you how to install them. Um, very simple, right click, run as an administrator or just double click on it, install it. This one's a little bit different. If you guys never messed with zip files, um, just right click on it in Windows and then click extract all and it'll ask where you wanna extract. Normally it's in the same folder. So just click extract again and it's gonna do this right here. And it's gonna open up a folder. So this is all the files that you just extracted and it seems like a lot, it's really not. If you're running 32-bit Windows, just run the regular setup. And if you're running Windows and you've got 64-bit, double click this and run it. After both of these programs have ran, go ahead and restart your computer before we jump into this next part. So after we've installed voice meter and VB cable, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is make sure that they're actually on your computer. And to do that, it's really easy. Right click on your speaker and click on open sound settings. And it's going to open up this menu here. And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom and we're going to find the sound control panel. If you're on Windows 7 or, or an older version, it's just as simple as going to your sound settings. And we can see here now, we'll go ahead and close that window that we have a few devices in here. So if you checked out the other section of where I showed you guys how to do two track, that was actually easier than this. But now you can see we actually have two other devices other than just our speakers. We have a cable input and a voice meter input. So for this video, we're going to name the cable input is going to actually be our PC's audio. And I'll show you guys how to set that. And it's actually very easy. All we need to do is right click on this and set as default device. The default device is going to play back your computer's audio for say you're watching a YouTube video or anything with sound on your PC. The default communications device is what it's going to default to for any program that's made to talk to other people. This is where you're going to hear it from. So what we want to do is we want to set that to voice meter input. So we will set this as the default communications device. So if I was explaining this as best as possible, your PC audio is going to come through here and it's actually not going to go to your speakers yet. I'll show you how to fix that. And then voice meter um, input is going to be your communications device. So it's going to be your friends talking. It's going to come down this channel and your PC's audio is going down this channel. This is essentially separating those audio lines. That way we can add them into OBS and have separate control of them. So 
Before we jump into OBS, I want to get these audio channels routed so you can actually hear them in your speakers or in your headphones because it's kind of useless if you can't hear the audio coming through these. So what you need to do is you need to go over to recording and you can see that they actually have their own outputs over here for them as well. So what we need to do is right click on these, go to properties, click on listen, make sure to check listen to this device and then set it to where you want to hear your audio from. So if you were using your headphones, you would select your headphones here or if you're using your speakers, select your speakers and then apply that setting. And then you wanna do the same here, go to listen, make sure this is checked. It's not by default. This is just because I've already installed this and then select your speakers that you wanna hear them from there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give you guys kind of an example to show you um, how that audio is being routed. So I'm gonna pull up the tried and true how to tech website and we can see it's actually right there. Came in, coming in clutch and we're gonna go ahead and once this video loads, click on it and you're gonna see that the audio is gonna be routed directly through this line and not this one. And we should be able to see where the audio is playing back through here as well. So as we can see, audio is being routed through here into this line and this line only, and then back into the speakers here. And this is great because that means that's working and Discord is now gonna go through here. But here's the thing. By default, it's not going to. So what you'll want to do is pull up Discord, go to your settings, and then go to voice and video. And what you'll want to do is change your output device to whichever one you selected as your communications device. So we're going to select this as voice meter input, and this is now going to route audio into voice meter so input and then back into our headphones. So after we have separated our audio from our friend's audio, we need to click on the settings gear near any of these three and then click advanced audio properties. And now it's as simple as making sure only one device is selected per track. So the first track I'm gonna have be desktop audio, which is actually my PC's audio. Track two, we're gonna make that our microphone. So that's gonna stay the same and we're just gonna remove desktop audio two. And desktop audio two is gonna be on its own track on track three meaning that that is the Discord audio. So just to recap, track one, the only thing on it is the PC's audio, which is desktop audio. Desktop audio two is on track three by itself. So this is gonna be Discord audio and track two is just gonna be our microphone all by itself. So that is all you do there. And then we need to actually make sure that's the same on our recording settings. So click on settings, go to output, go to recording and make sure MP4 is selected under the advanced settings and we have tracks one, two, and now track three selected and click apply and okay. And now whenever we record, we're gonna have three separate distinct audio tracks that we can edit inside of our editing program. So right guys, it's gonna be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead and destroy that like button and get subscribed here to How To Tech if you guys aren't already. And if you guys are not as well, go ahead and check out our community Discord linked down below. We've got over 1400 members and we're growing every single day. And I would love for you guys to be a part of it. You get exclusive access to you know news for the channel, early access to videos and input on what kind of videos are actually made here on How To Tech. And then also there is a constant supply of new free stuff that we're making here that we give away to you guys. Some of the stuff is gonna be in video, some of it might not be. So definitely check that out to get your hands on some free stuff. Also, if you haven't checked out our new website, howtotech.us, it is now live and it's just got some more information about how to tech, a way to contact us if you need and other features as well. Also check out my Twitch link down below. I live stream on there from time to time. If you guys are interested in watching some video games, I've really been into a game called Warframe recently and you know, maybe check that out. I might stream that some time soon. So yeah, guys, that's going to be all for this video. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.